Hello everyone, Jimmy Boyd here today with our BetFirms.com season preview on the 2012 Atlanta Braves. If it wasn't for the Braves' collapse in the final month of the season, there would have been a different World Series champion. The Braves led St. Louis by 8.5 games on September 5th and would hold on to that lead until the final day of the regular season. It was a tough way to finish the first year under new manager Freddy Gonzalez, but the team didn't hit the panic button in the offseason. Atlanta has kept pretty much the same roster from last year's team that went 89-73. and Here's a quick look at their projected starting lineup, starting rotation, and a quick look at the closer situation. At catcher is Brian McCann. McCann's regarded as the best catcher in the National League, but he's coming off a disappointing finish to last year. Unlike most catchers, McCann is counted on to produce in the middle of the lineup, but he hit just 180 over the final six weeks when the Braves needed him the most. He led all catchers with 24 home runs and has been as consistent as they come behind the plate. I think the poor fin finish will have McCann motivated to come out strong in 2012. Over at first base, we have Freddie Freeman. The 22-year-old set the bar high in his first Major League season. Freeman not only led the Braves with a .282 batting average, but he hit 21 home runs with 76 RBI. Atlanta is desperately counting on him to avoid a sophomore slump. The potential is definitely there for Freeman. Right now, it's just a matter of when it will all come together. At second base, the Braves have Dan Ugla. Ugla provided the Braves with a career-high 36 home runs and a 33-game hitting streak in his first season in Atlanta. Pretty impressive considering he hit just 173 in the first three months of the year. Expect another 30-plus home runs and 75-plus RBI this season, with the potential for an even bigger year if he can get off to a better start. Shortstop is Tyler Pasternicki. Atlanta parted ways with the defensive shortstop Alex Gonzalez to make way for Pasternicki. 22-year-old hit 314 in 117 games between AA and AAA last season. He doesn't have a lot of power, but he does have the speed that if he can become the 300 hitter they expect, he'll be a threat on the base pads. Over at third base is Chipper Jones. The veteran third baseman just won't call it quits. Despite a long list of injuries, he continues to produce at a very high level. He hit 275 with 18 home runs and 70 RBI in just 126 games last year. If the Braves can get another 120, 130 games out of him this year, they'll be happy. Over in left field is Martin Prado. Prado didn't have the offensive season that a lot of people expected. After hitting 300 plus the previous two seasons, he hit just 260 with 13 home runs and 57 RBI. I expect him to rebound offensively this year, but his real value to the team is his flexibility and how he can play multiple positions. In center field, the Braves have Michael Bourne. The Braves made a midseason trade for Bourne last year, and it looks like they have finally found their leadoff man. Bourne hit 294 with 94 runs scored and 61 stolen bases between the Astros and the Braves last year, one of the more underrated outfielders in the game today. Over in right field, there's Jason Hayward. Hayward struggled to live up the hype of his rookie season and is a bit of a question mark coming into 2012. He hit just 227 with 14 home runs and 42 RBI after hitting 277 with 18 home runs and 72 RBI as a rookie. Now I move on to the starting rotation. Anchoring the staff will be Tim Hudson. The 36-year-old put together another solid season in 2011. He went 16-10 and with a 322 ERA and a 1.14 whip. Hudson needed back surgery this offseason, but is still expected to be ready to go for spring training. Tommy Hansen had to miss most of August and all of September with a shoulder injury, but when healthy, he can be dominant. He was 10-4 with a 2.44 ERA early on, but just 1-3 with an 8.10 ERA over his last five starts before being sidelined. Jer Jurgens also had to miss the stretch run last year, and he was forced out with a knee injury. Finished up 13-6 with a 2.96 ERA and a 1.22 whip. The problem with Jurgens is he never seems to stay healthy, but you can't ignore that low whip that he posted last season. Brandon Beachy had an impressive rookie year. In 25 starts, he went 7-3 and three with a 3.680 ERA and a 1.21 whip. But the stat that has a lot of people excited is his 10.7 Ks per 9 innings. He has the potential to be the ace of this staff for many years to come. Mike Miner was a guy who stepped in for the Braves when they dealt with their injuries at the end of last year, and in 12 starts, the team went 9-3. and three. He ended up with a 5-3 and three record with a 4.14 ERA and a 1.49 whip. Kid just turned 24 this past December, so there's plenty of time for him to improve. If he can't hold down the fifth spot, though, the Braves will likely turn to a couple of highly touted prospects in Randall Delgado and Julio Teheran. The bullpen's anchored down by Craig Kimbrell. Kimbrell was last year's Rookie of the Year after setting a rookie record with 46 saves. Both right-handed and left-handed hitters struggled against him, both hitting under 200. He struck out 127 batters in just 77 innings and is already being considered one of the most dominant closers in the game. 
Overall, Atlanta should be a quality team again in 2012, but they're going to have trouble getting past the Philadelphia Phillies in the NL East. With the Miami Marlins also being much improved, Atlanta needs to play well to earn the wild card, but most likely this team will be on the outside looking in once again. For more MLB predictions, check us out at betfirms.com. We'll be covering all the, all the teams this season.